Hello, I'm Snapper Jack, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So, um, I think what we're gonna do is not go to Monarch, because <laughs> I think, if you remember correctly, last time we played this, I haven't played this in a while. Um, there's, I think there's like loads of enemies that are really hard to kill um, so we have to go to a different area um, friend is not pulling their weight getting knocked down too often their gear may not be up to date give them stronger weapons and armor yeah okay right so Let's um let's um let's go to the map. Yeah, we're in Monarch. Yeah, we we don't really want to be here. Um let's let's um let's go back to the the uh, the ship or the landing pad and we go to a different planet cuz I think this one's a bit mad. <laughs> I I think I died like a lot in the last few videos I was like I can't do this um, <clears throat> so let's um, figure out where to go I mean I've, I completed it like a long time ago when it first came out but I don't I really can't remember where to go really um, or what to do so let's um, let's let's have a look shall we so We're all, let's go back in the ship. Um. Oh yeah, you've got new armor. Yeah, you've all got new armor. Okay, let's go in the ship. Oh yeah, I remember. It takes ages to load for some reason. Um. So, I mean, because it's saying that we've got to go to that planet to get Radio Freedom on. I mean, I'm not playing Fallout 4. <laughs> Radio Freedom is where you get all the, you know, I don't care about Fallout at the moment. I don't. It's a difficult game as it is. Um, right, so let's let's have a look, shall we? So we've got... What's that? What's this? Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. So, so th thank you very much. Thank you. Um, if we go to back to yeah, if we go back to Groundbreaker, Typhoon. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's just go back to Groundbreaker. Uh, yeah, we we'll go back to Groundbreaker. Yeah. <clears throat> the Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Thank you. Uh, we will take. Um, take. Get rid of her. Maybe Felix as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've changed the scenery. I want to get Vic and Max. I can't remember how you do that though. I really can't remember how you get Vic and Max. You can't. He's like one of the best characters, like companions. Um. Sorry if I sound like really off. It's just I'm, I'm trying to remember what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I'm just going to the planets and killing things and getting companions and dying. Um, that's literally what I did in the last, like, two episodes. Probably 
prefabricated living just like home. Okay. Right, so we go. Yeah, we go over here. What's what's this then? Customs. Nope, it's not over there. Rizzo's purple berry crunch. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Right, so if we talk to you... Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Oh yeah, we went to Roseway. Um, I investigated. There we What's go. that? Speak up now. Uh, about those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? I found toothpaste formula, but then I found unfound it. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Yep. I'm certain. There's nothing left. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Um, right, so... I want to ask you something else. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Um... Mission Groundbreakers outside of board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Um, what do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Well, I know who Miss June Lay is, but okay. Chief June Lay Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. She seemed capable of handling the board well enough. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I'm curious, what do you think of her? Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Okay, thanks. Wait, hold on. What else can if I do? If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Well, I don't, I don't really care about that. Um... Back to hard, hard-earned wisdom. Here we go. Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. Um. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them. You see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Mm, what, do you, what makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Okay. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Oh yeah, because yeah, we went to Roseway and they were literally trying to get diet toothpaste as a thing. Stupid. Uh, what do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. 
But that's more of a passion project. Please tell me you're not the reason Black Hole Birdie shaved his head in the last pennant match. Well, Mr. Holcomb did win his pennant, didn't he? But that's not what you wanted to talk about. Well, she actually there? talked to him. That was interesting. Right, see you later. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Wait, so why do you have a thing there then? Why can I? Can it's I still... almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Not particularly. Um. Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler. But she's okay. no match for your pal Gladys. Okay, awesome, thanks. Right. So I can I can buy stuff, but why I don't want them. Why does she have like a um, forty-eight percent discount? Oh, that's pretty damn good. Um, okay. Oh, sell junk. Oh yeah, the currency is bits, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Perhaps it don't meet. Okay. Yeah, repair all of it. Fuck it. We got enough, haven't we? Oh god, I'm gonna lose all my money. Look. Actually, not too bad. Okay, fair enough. Um. Fair. There we go. So why why are you? Oh, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Okay, let's let's have a look. So. No night without stars. Hey, there's a new. If I to watch, okay. So we can go back to the ship and do that, whatever that is. No, that's a toilet. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following stories. How the fuck do we get out of it? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate planet from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? There we go. Did you know June Light, grown up? Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her, though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker. What did folks say about it then? Tough. Competent. Had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> Actually, can we go over to Edgewater and talk to Vicar Max? I want to. I want to see if I can get him on the. Because um, I think if you get him, he would do a side quest for you, and you can actually unlock a planet from what I remember. That's it, Edgewater though. Well, we're on the ship. We'll talk to talk to Ada quickly and see what she has, has to say, and then. Maybe go back to Edgewater and see if we can talk to talk to Vicar Max, maybe. Welcome back, Captain. Hello. How can I be of assistance? Uh, you mentioned an halfway drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Really? Oh. I'll show Helen versus Brain Eaters. Ooh. It was the law forsaken parasites. Lucy and Helen. <laughs> oh god, it's brilliant. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. Oh, yeah, well, you know, death. oh, crutch. Ugh. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. Brain eaters? 
matter what cost to me. coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Let me guess. This is about <laughs> Halalcian Helen's murder. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. I first thought we... And you first thought it was to come to me. Yeah. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, so glad to finally have a word with you. I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the mystery responsible and drag them out of the shadows. I'm having trouble seeing the death of two-bit actor on an assault on the colony. Yeah. Two-bit actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric. Could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Gentlemen, please, as far as I'm concerned, you are both idiots. <laughs> um, can we get back to the point here, please? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Honest to law, Constable how hard Keen. is it to hire a freelancer? Apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was inappropriate of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. Oh, you're a woman. Sorry, I've I thought been you're studying going. your dossier. You're a talented diplomat. You know how to ask questions, and you have a gift for getting answers without resorting to violence. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Inspector Jack, I like the sound of that. Um... Yeah, fuck it. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Helen must be pretty popular if her death could put an end to your operations. Okay. Um, 
Those two seem to have issues. <laughs> you seem to be a com uh, competent. Uh, you have to deal with it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just do this one. Fuck it. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well known or as well loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. All right, well, I've got everything on Transmission here. terminated. Captain, we are now clear to land at the Eridanos I've got a trophy, the mysterious complex. afoot. Um... I don't know why they're trusting me to hatch a last uh, yeah, that's true. There so we're going to a new planet now. why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. So... Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, inebriation, and... Genuine faith in your abilities. Um. Thanks. So, we, oh, I love that. Sweet. So, so we're pretty much going to a new planet now. I really, I literally, have no idea how to um. Oh, ten, ten points. Jesus. Um, we do melee a little bit. Ranged, defense, dialogue, um, do stealth as well, and then we do one in tech and one in leadership. Yeah, there we go. Okay, apply. Melee power. Okay, so Aramad ballistic power regulations, melee power attacks, holding this. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, reputation. Auntie Cleo, yeah. But it's because I, I, I didn't realise... <laughs> I didn't realise at the time when I went to uh, Roseway that I killed them by mistake. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to get a hostile. So, well, let's go... Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we can go there now, new planet. Cool. What's it called? A red... Eridanus. How did you change weapons? Oh yeah, I've got a... Whatever this is. Eridanus. Um, we would just... Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So you you get Sam on the ship, you need to get a certain thing for him. Then you've got... I think you get Vic and Max. I don't know who the other one is, though. So. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. The Halcyon Helen. The, and the Brain Eaters. So we're pretty much um, getting vengeance on the people that are killed her off the show. So stupid. <clears throat> anyways are exotic eff uh, effect uh, discovered by the early 20th, 20th century. Cool. Chapter 12 Murders of Arandus. Eridarinus. I don't know how you pronounce that fucking planet. You see what I mean about the loading, it takes so fucking long. Oh wow. What's a floating city? It's a floating city. That's pretty damn cool. Helen's killer right this second. Maybe we ought to take in the sights. Well, I think we should. Carry on doing what we're doing. It's like, kind of like over. It's like Bioshock Infinite. It's like a city in the sky. Hello, hello, hello there. 
Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. Eridanos. I'm the Grand okay. Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Okay, um, can you fill me in the details of the murder? I can try. I was, was the one was who found Helen's killed body in, in the Grand Ballroom. Corpse the scene. wasn't okay. in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. Hey, Black Hole Birdie may be a savage brute on the field of honor, but he's no killer. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Um, that's great. Just show me to a room, please. So I'm. Uh, of course. I have that my is, own hotel room. I would room. love to. Unfortunately, it's currently still being prepared. Oh, you. Not prick. to speak out of turn, <laughs> but I think the idea was that the hotel staff would continue to clean your room while you investigated the crime scene. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll go investigate. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Was worried I had the wrong person for a moment. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once yes, you're ready, you head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. I don't have any bags. Bags? What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Yeah. Maybe I should take a, a stupid hat off you before you criticize my appearance. <laughs> hey, this is a hotel mandated piece of my uniform, and it's very official. Even if it I don't is think a bit I've stupid. never been to a hotel Anyhow, where a bellhop wears a stupid hat later. Like that. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Right, just what what's going on with these people? Had something in my ear. Grand Colonial Hotel, okay. Oh, it's really like Bioshock really themed. No need to check in. I feel like I'm spending a fortune just standing here. I don't know why I'm allowed my guns with me as well. So oh, I'm in our hotel. Rizzo Spectrum, okay. This brown, drink it down. Ugh. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. Oh, it's like a brown drink. I've leveled up again? Jesus. I've leveled up again, Jesus, okay. One. Oh shit, no. Um, yeah, apply. There we go. Perks. Have we got a new perk? Precision. 15% companion crit chance.
But we want more damage, don't we? Or like... Quicken the dead, okay. Tactical time dilation meter, okay, we don't care about that. Um, Traveller. I think, I think... <laughs> 50 percent health of a sword per kill. Yes, actually I would do that. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Um, oh, I need to unlock. I can't unlock it. I've already unlocked it. Oh, you... Okay. Um, what was the one that I wanted the companions doing more health? Like, doing more, sort of... Um, where is it? Um... Yeah, that's it. Fifteen percent companion. Yeah, we'll do that. Fuck yeah. There we go. Right, let's go. You know, for a monument to the wealth of. Speak to the constable. Okay. But it's sealed. The crime scene's awaiting, Inspector. But I can't believe something like this could happen in my hotel. When I found her, I was just hoping she had a little too much to drink, but. All the grievous bodily injury adds up, I suppose. This room seems to be in a bad place. To loiter after hours here. I reckon you're right, considering the fact that Helen was murdered here. No telling what she was doing. She anyway, was I'm sure you've got questions. I want you to open this door. Wait, hold on. Fuck, so you twat. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you, you know, know how relieved I am to see you. Oh. Let's skip the pleasantries. I want to hear the best guy. Uh, nice to meet you. We spoke on the uh, yeah. Constable Maria Keen. It's good to meet you in person, Inspector. I'm not Dr. really, Goodnight. Inspector. Ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on. Dr. Are Goodnight. <laughs> That's quite There's a good something name. I'm excited to show you. <clears throat> I'm guessing you're the one talking about the body. What body? Oh, that. Goodness, no. This is far more interesting than Halcyon Helen's rapidly cooling corpse. Our coroner has developed a device which oh, may Halcyon. prove useful um. in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. Oh, I can, okay. Uh, what does it do exactly? Yeah. I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to explain. <coughs> the discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Got it, thanks. Go on then. Give it a try. Just treat the amplifier as you would a weapon. Hold it good and steady and look down scope. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll Good, want to I'm peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. Oh, she... She is actually here. So, greetings, Inspector. Thanks for the half-genius mad scientist, Dr. Goodnight, and you being granted discrepancy amplifier. Handy identification device. Okay, okay. okay. Cool, I got it. So now I've got a new weapon. Sort of.
Okay. Oh. Do I just shoot? No, you don't shoot. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Right. Wait, how do you how do you use this? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because I think that's pissing everyone off. Ah, there we go. Our oh, footprints. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Trophy, no longer clues. Unscheduled expiration of. Well, I was clueless. <laughs> sure, let's get started. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Taste the dirt. Oh no, Captain, please don't taste the dirt, and I'm too late. Uh, discover from the do the size of the footprints match anything that you have not recorded, yeah. Footprint is a tailor made, 8.75, suggesting that its owner was <laughs> very particular about their shoe size. <laughs> it is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Okay, uh, can you analyze the dirt? The dirt, the dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purple berries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purple berries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonial. Okay, so Helen must have been at the orchards before she died. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Okay. Let's go. I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the Hotel get why does he speak like this? Didn't nobody teach him to respect the dead? Oh gosh, is that Miss Helen? Can we see? I'm sorry, sir, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspect. Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kinpanen can warned get, me you'd you be checking in. You get massages soon. here? Right, what happened to the room key? Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, inspector. The penthouse Good. suite on our topmost floor is now key. available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. I will say, I will say, if I find a little bit of a crumb on the floor, I'm holding you responsible. Right, <laughs> okay, see you later. Oh, that's so creepy, right. A weird weapon with me now. Bing. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. The elevator if speaks to me. Any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Oh, uh, the penthouse, will you please? Next stop, the finest seat in the Oh, you can go to different floors. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go. Um, oh, oh, oh. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. I did indeed. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Let's get this photo. 
You don't seem too bothered about her death. Yeah, that's true. It's the circumstances of her death that trouble me. Our spokesperson was murdered just before the grand unveiling of Spectrum Brown. If I belonged to a rival company, I'd be ecstatic. You think your rival company was behind the murder? It's always a possibility. Corporate sabotage is practically a pastime in this colony. Back to the matter at hand. Tell me about your investigation. Helen was at the Purple, uh, Purple Berry Orchard before her death. Ah, I can't imagine she had any <coughs> business outside the hotel. If you discover what she was doing at the orchard, please let me know. Wait, so... Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation so... through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. I bear that in mind. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Wait, Inspector. Hold on. So, I've leveled up again? So, Halalcyon Helen doesn't leave the hotel room. <laughs> She's a hermit to her hotel room. Why do I keep leveling up? Make it. F make it. Yeah. I don't really do melee, really. Um, do defense a little bit. Um, I'm going to just do, do leadership, why not? I mean, why do I keep, why do I keep leveling up? It's really weird. Hi there, Inspector. Hi. It might be a little beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart, I'm still a bellhop. Was the sweet to your liking? I didn't even need the hotel rooms were that large, it's great, yeah. Good, I'm glad. Good. Now, I'd love to bring you to a floor of your choosing. Uh, the, hmm. It's the lobby then, I guess. We go. Um, we, yeah, no, no, we're not having, we're not having her. Oh yeah, okay, no, she can fuck off. I can't believe this is. I, I don't really remember this one <laughs> at all. Because I think I just went to planet to planet to planet. But I don't think I actually went to. I think you do, though. I think you do have to unlock these planets from what I remember. I really don't remember any of this shit. All I remember is. Um, it's not the longest game in the world. But I remember Monarch being like the most dangerous planet. That's all I remember. <clears throat> that's that's literally all I remember. Right, let's leave. We have to go to the orchard. God, they do look like brain eaters. She doesn't have like a scientific gun, it's just like a proper revolver. Jesus Christ. This loading is killing me. There we go. Right. Um, no, there we go. Oh, this game is really pretty. This area is really pretty. Oh, it hasn't rendered there. Yeah, look, look, it's trying to oh, render now. Yeah. Bridge Hotel Orchards discovered. Okay. Little Vargas. Who the fuck is Little Vargas? Here they come. 
Oh, wow, okay, what the fuck? Oh, wow. Oh, you're alive. Really hard to kill. Oh fucking hell. Oh shit, yeah, fuck. Why aren't they hard to kill? I don't know why they're so difficult to kill. <laughs> Stand this loading time, it really pisses me off. I mean, you know, I haven't really got all day, but I have got all day. It's kind of like hurry the fuck up sort of mentality right now. Stand this loading time. It's just so annoying. Fuck me. I think it's like a five minute loading time just to go into a new area. Fucking hell. Let's go, let's go get the health thingy, um, a consumable, here we go. Let's we'll just carry on going through here. Actually, I might save. I haven't saved in a while. Yes. Cool. Right, let's go. I hope the murderer is caught. Are you gonna attack me? Great, you do that. No. I'll be waiting right here. They following me? Yeah. I might just power through this and just go, nah. can't go through that fuck. Do I actually have to fight these fuckers? Why are they more powerful than me?
Fucking hell. Oh, shit. I knocked him over during the Trino time. Fuck, now why are they so tough? God, why did you die? Oh, he's dead. Fuck it out. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh yeah. I should use that more often. Oh, I burn him into Oh wow. Oh the canids. There's a sprat. Oh, they've been knocked down. We'll get up in a minute, shall we? Oh, you fuck off. Shit, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo on everything. Hold on, let me, um... <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah. No, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. It's because I don't have any good weapons, that's probably why he's... And I'm... I haven't got any fucking... Thank you, fucking hell. Let's right, see if I can reload some stuff. Oh, 
I haven't got fuck all ammo. Okay, well let's go down there. Um, actually, no, we have to. Get, where do we have to go? Over there. Oh my god. What the fuck do we get down there? Oh. Hardline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, what bench? Okay. There we go. Wait, hold on. Did it say... Let's go for cross here. Right, so we're across the bridge now. Can I buy some stuff? I can buy some stuff from you. You look well happy. <laughs> Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut um, Hut, you wonderful, what's wonderful on your customer. Neck? Thank you for giving my humble existence value. I can't tell if she's happy or dying on the inside. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. Yeah, what's that? What's that on your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. That's disgusting. Where did you pick that heart from? It's, it, it's contagious. I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Oh. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad. So I don't okay. worry about it. Alright. But you know what? Back away slowly. I'll see you later, you weird woman. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an orchard before. I mean, other than Miss McDevitt's garden. I need to buy Am some I shit. <laughs> uh, sell junk, yeah. Let's uh, buy some stuff. Um, uh, how much? We've got quite a lot of bits in me so um tartar sauce lovely well you know what a mock apple yeah why not oh can we buy am armor we can buy ammo that's what we need heavy ammo yeah energy cells yeah a better pistol take that like machine gun I'm taking that What I'm gonna do is equip them if I can. Um wrong button. Right, so uh, Start rifle, boom. Um, then we're gonna get. We need that though. Um, keep that there. For a second. 